Hey piggy people. So I am cleaning the herd's cage so that I can put vet bed down. So half of their cage is already done and underneath that entire section is vet bed already. So I had enough pieces from over the years to fill that entire section with like just a bunch of squares. And it looks like I'm going to be able to make this section completely covered with vet bed as well. So the vet bed is underneath and then the liners are on top. So vet bed itself doesn't absorb pee. It's not going to be wicking like fleece does. So you can't just put them on vet bed. Uh, up in the iKaiser, I'll leave my video that talks all about vet bed if you want to know more about it. But my goal is to make every section of the cage squishy and supportive for Butter Pecan. So if you guys didn't see my last video, she is almost seven and she's starting to get sore back feet and not wanting to move around as much. So I'm going to have to up her pain meds. And one of the things that has always helped my seniors in the past is having a very cushiony cage. Seems to make everything obviously more comfortable. So this is gonna be like walking on a nice cushy carpet, I guess, with like really puffy under pad, if that's something you could imagine. Just really soft and cushiony on your feet. Because just plain liners on Coroplast, you know, it's soft, but it doesn't really have a bounce or a give, where this stuff is just really plush and comfortable. So I still am going to order from VetBed large panels of this so that I have two sets to clean the cage. I'm not sure how often I'm going to have to clean this. So on my Coroplast, normally with the liners on top, I never get pee stains underneath. So I don't think I'm going to need to change this maybe more than once a month. I'll just have to see. Um, every time I clean their cage, I'll just um, test certain areas to see if I can feel any wetness or smell anything like it's starting to get stinky. But I do want to have another set so that while this set's being washed, I can put the other set down. So I'm hoping this is going to help her feet. I'm sure that all the other pigs are going to love it too because now just laying out in random spots is going to be really squishy. And I do have other seniors in the cage so Apple's a senior. Technically Huck's going to be a senior. Uh, Raisin's going to be a senior soon. So the average lifespan for pigs is five to seven years. So technically once they get to four years old they could be a senior. All pigs age differently, so I've had pigs get to about four, four and a half, and they really start to show their age. Where other pigs like Pecan aren't showing a ton of their age until they're six or over. So I'm just going to finish putting these pieces down and get the rest of their cage going. But I really hope that this feels a lot more comfortable for her. So anyway, um, I'm going to keep putting that down, and then I'll just show you the rest of the cage in a second. Okay, so we're all set up. Uh, Pecan is exploring the entire cage, which is a pretty big deal because she has not been out and about very much at all for the last three or four days. So she was usually just staying into that section there, but she's been checking everything out. She was all the way down here. I just missed her. What do you think, Apple? Is that nice and squishy for you as well? So I had enough vet bed to finish the whole cage. I have three pieces left over, which I was considering maybe when I clean their cage uh, tomorrow night, might put it under the area where they sleep. Because it might be a nice idea for them to be having some cushion as well. So Picano, she's sleeping down there. So that makes me really happy because she has not been in any other part of the cage for days. Oh, and she looks all squished. Can we zoom in? There we go. That's good. Got Velvy squished in there. She always looks so huge when she goes into tunnels. Almost takes up the entire thing. And Reese is off in that corner, just squished right out. Oh, Apple's going up in that bed. That's nice. You see all six pigs are right down there. That's funny. 
Apple's got a tight little squeeze to get into that cup, but she's tiny so she fits. Well that makes me very happy. So I'll let you guys know when our vet bed arrives. I'll order it sometime soon so that I can get it in for before the next time I need to change out the bottoms. Okay guys, see you later. So I just wanted to update you guys to let you know that Pecan has been started on Tramadol. So it's been a couple days and it does make a difference. She is a lot more comfortable. The one thing we are to watch out for is that it doesn't slow down her GI tract. So Pecan is on medications to keep her GI tract moving because she has problems with that. So I'm just supposed to keep watch to make sure that she's pooping and everything like that is normal. So overall putting down the vet bed and giving her tramadol has made things a lot better because now she's going around the entire cage again, not just sticking to one spot and her feet look better. So they still have some bruising to get rid of, so hopefully we can get them um, completely back to normal. So overall I'm very happy and she does seem a lot more comfortable. <laughs> oh, and we're going to sleep. Velvet's giving me the eye of, don't get any closer. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!